Hello ladies and gentlemen, scared to here bringing you in our Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building the M939 Series 5-ton 6x6 truck. The M939 truck is a 5-ton 6x6 US military heavy truck. The basic cargo versions were designed to transport a 10,000 pounds cargo load over all terrain in all weather. Designed in the late 1970s to replace the M39 and M809 series of trucks, it has been in service ever since. The M39 evolved into its own family of cargo trucks, dump trucks, semi-tractors, fans, wreckers, and bare chassis slash cabs for special bodies. 44,590 in all were produced. The specific version we have here uh, is technically the M923A1, which is one of the cargo variants. Um, but yeah, overall a really cool truck. We don't have to make cargo trucks, so it's fun to kind of do another one here. Um, they're always obviously very important for logisticals and just playing around your army base and all that stuff. So uh, again, awesome design here. This was used both by the United States Army and Marine Corps, so you definitely have some playability with it. And uh, you can definitely put it into any of your modern conflicts. You can put it in a sand camouflage or using um, basically sandstone. And you can create a desert version. So a lot of playability with this vehicle and a lot of stuff you guys can do with it. So... Um, lots of possibilities. Um, anyways, before we go ahead and dive into this tutorial, I want to go ahead and give a special thanks to Patreon supporter Z Pro Warfare for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more than you guys already do, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is down in the video description where you can put a small amount to the channel every month, and in doing so, earn a vehicle request you're choosing. Help support my work on the channel and continues to keep on uh, keep me inspired to keep on making these con this type of content. So definitely feel free to check it out um, and uh, support the work I do. Anyways, that's going to do it there for that, and let's go and kind of take a look here at the build itself. So, build itself, pretty straightforward. As I mentioned, it's a 6x6 truck, so it's got three axles, six wheels. Um, start off with the front here. Uh, obviously, nothing too fancy here, just the grill, um, headlights, and front bumper, all that. As we work our way to the sides here, we have, obviously, the cab. Um, the most likely fuel tanks here that are located on the sides. The whole chassis itself, and we have the kind of cargo bay area and this cargo bay could be um, left uncovered if you want to as well um, you do have that option but as you can see here we went ahead and kept it covered because I think it looks really nice covered and uh, get all the detail in here for the back of the truck and all that stuff so again really straightforward and a really nice looking design again going to make an awesome addition to any convoys any military bases or anything like that you're building um, this is also used by a variety of other countries so uh, this could also work for, um, you know, different countries and maybe bases you might be making for them. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer, layer number one. Alright guys, go ahead and move into our first layer and we'll go ahead and start with layer one. For layer one, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down two narrow brick stairs, which we're going to have back to back to each other like this to go ahead and create the left front wheel. From this, we're going to place down a snow brick top slab, a iron trap door, snow brick top slab, and then a narrow brick stair, upside down stair, come off like that to go and make your axle here and your uh, basically uh, front axle. After that, we're going to then place down a place or block going back from those stairs and coming off that, those stairs, we're going to place down one, two, three, four dark oak trap doors back and make sure they're on the top portion of the block so not down here on the ground, obviously. And same thing over here for dark oak trap doors back. We're going to go ahead and then skip a space on both sides here, and then we're going to place down two narrow bricks up downstairs back to back like this. Same thing over here. And we want to go ahead and basically do the same thing we did for the front here. So a stone brick top slab between these two stairs and an iron trap door. We're going to go ahead and skip a space again to both sides here, and we're going to do the same thing. Two narrow brick stairs back to back like this. Over here, same thing. Two narrow brick stairs back to back like that. And we want to go ahead and then go in between these wheels here. Stone brick top slab, iron trap door, and a stone brick top side like that to go and finish that off and once you have that all done that is if they're for layer one nice base is set up for the vehicle here here's what it should look like from above and we set it for layer one let's move into layer number two all right guys moving into our next layer we have layer number two for layer two to go ahead and get started with here we're going to go to each one of these two narrow brick upside down stairs and place down two narrow brick stairs back to back on top of those stairs so just go ahead and complete our wheel design here and we're going to basically take this all the way around the truck just like so. So real simple, just like that. And we have all six of our wheels done. We're going to go and then go to the axles here. We're going to place down an anvil on the iron trap door and a stone brick wall to both sides. And that's going to be the same thing here for all uh, three of our axles. So just like that. Once we get to this point, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some 
stone brick walls. And we're going to go to the front here. We're going to place down a row three of dark oak with top side across, followed by a top side coming off the middle here. And then to both sides on that top side, we're going to place down a stone or a mossy cobblestone wall. Come off the side here on the mossy cobblestone wall, we're going to place down a dark oak with ups down stair to both sides. Come off the back of the dark oak with ups down stair, we're going to place down a dark oak with trap door to both sides. Zombie heads come off the two mossy cobblestone walls and a dark oak with sign here in the space in between them. After that's complete, we want to go and then take our mossy cobblestone walls and we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six back and same thing over here. Going back to the stone brick wall, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and then go to this space here and place a nice plastic cobblestone wall, this space here, and this space right here. So, basically, as you can see, we're leaving a space of one here in between these kind of uh, struts with these cross kind of supports here. After that, uh, we're going to go ahead and then move back to this section here. We're going to go and take our plastic cobblestone walls. We're going to place down one, two back, one, two. And then on the very back here, we're going to just take our dark oak with top slabs. We're going to place down a row of one, two, and three. Dark oak with top slabs back, and one, two, and three. And then we're going to go to the center here. We're going to place down a dark oak with top slab in the center, and a zombie head like that to come off that top slab. So you get kind of an H looking shape here in the back, and a look like the design like this for basically your chassis here. And once uh, that's all done there, we're going to go ahead and Start working on our sides. So for this, we're going to place down a dark oak with ups down stair on both sides after this front wheel. We then want to go ahead and focus our attention first to what will be the uh, right side of the vehicle. We're going to place down a green shulker box on the side like so. Skip a space and on these two dark oak with trap doors, two green terracotta blocks with dark oak with signs on the sides of those blocks. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a dark oak with button and we're going to place down a dark oak with button here on the side of the shulker box. Over here to uh, the left side of the vehicle, a little bit of a different design, but at the same time, pretty similar. We're going to place down a shulker box on the side like here, like this. Dark oak button, skip a space, then two green shulker boxes with a birch button on the first shulker box on the side there, like so. Um, after that, we want to go and then grab item frames. And we're going to go ahead and go into uh, our creative menu with a tripwire hook as well. So item frames and a tripwire hook, and we're going to place down two item frames here on the back, and tripwire hooks coming off those item frames rotate so they're hanging downwards like so. After uh, that's all done, uh, we pretty much have the structure done. What we need to do now is to go ahead and grab ourselves a loom and some various uh, banner making materials. Now what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be going ahead and making an optional addition you can add to the build. So this here is something you can add, um, or it's something you don't have to. Uh, one of these I would strongly recommend adding as it does add a good portion to the build itself. Um, but let's go and get started. So for the first banner we're going to be making is for these mud flaps. Again, kind of something that I would recommend no matter what. Uh, but we're going to place down a black banner into the loom and we're going to place our green dye and we're just going to split it in half with the green on top. So real simple design there for that banner. And this is going to go ahead and go on these narrow brick stairs here on the back. So the front wheel there and the back one like that. So just like that for both those. Now once those are both done, a optional wheel we can do or a design we can do for banners is to make this banner design here for the wheels. It kind of gives them a bit more beefy of a look and kind of beefs up the look uh, of the truck. So for these banners, real simple, again we're going to go into our loom, take our black banners, use our green dye. We're going to go and do a line of green on the left side and then a line of green over here on the right side. After that is complete, we're going to go and then place down whichever banner back into our loom, our black dye. We're going to go and select the line across the top, line across the bottom. We have our first banner done, and same thing here for the second one. Line across the bottom, line across the top of black. And we're going to go and just very simply place these down on the dark oak with stairs with the green centers facing toward each other. And that right there is going to create this kind of banner wheel design here for the uh, trucks here. And that right there is going to basically finish that off. And with that, that is going to complete layer two for the build. Here's what it looks should look like from up above here. And with that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number three. Alright guys, we've gone to our next layer with layer number three. For layer three to go ahead and get started with, we're gonna place down a loom on top of this uh, dark oak slab right there. We're gonna place down a dark oak sign to off the side of the loom. 
After that, we're gonna place nine Dark Equid up down to both sides of the loom, and also, like we did before, Dark Equid signs coming off the faces here of those stairs, and also to the sides here, just like that. Once that's done, we're gonna go take our green terracotta. We're gonna place down a row of three across, followed by a second row of three across after that. And on both ends here, we're gonna place down two Dark Equid up down stairs, facing each other like so, to go and create the fenders here over the front wheels. Also on the front here, we're gonna place down an item frame on those stairs and we're going to place down an orange stained glass block in it like that for the hazard lights. Once uh, that's done, we're going to then place down one and two green terracotta blocks back, two dark oak with stairs along the sides here, and two dark oak with signs coming off the faces here of those stairs like so. We're going to then place down a zombie head coming off these two uh, blocks just like that. And over here on the left side, we're going to go ahead and place down an additional zombie head come off this one. So that's going to be only on the left, but it should look like this here from the back of the cab. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and also place down an item frame on top of this green terracotta block with a green terracotta block in the item frame. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and take our green terracotta. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of three across the center here, followed by a dark oak with top slam to both sides. So a dark oak with top side like this to both ends. After that we're going to place down a row of five of dark oak with top sides across, followed by a second row of five. After we get to this point we're going to place down a row of three green terracotta across the middle here, and we're going to place down a dark oak with upside down stair again to both sides. We're going to place down another two rows of five of dark oak with top sides across, so one and two, and we want to go then place down a row of three green terracotta and then a um, Dark oak with top side of the both ends. After that, we're going to place down a mossy colors the wall on both sides here, and then we're going to follow up by placing down a dark oak with up sound stair come off the sides. Go ahead and continue on. We're going to place down a mossy colors the wall back to both sides here, and then we're going to place down one mossy colors the wall here in the middle, so you have a row of three, and then again a dark oak with top side of the both ends. And then on the very back here, we're going to place down a dark oak with upside down stair, come off the sides here of those dark oak with slabs. In the center here, we're going to place down a green terracotta block directly in the middle. And then a green shulker box to both sides. Cut off those shulker boxes, we're going to place down three dark oak with buttons. We're going to go and grab an item frame and a dark oak with sign, and also some red stained glass. We're going to place down item frames on the sides of the stairs, red stained glass in those item frames, and dark oak with signs like that on the uh, back there for the brake lights. And once that's uh, all finished there, that is going to wrap up what we have there for layer number three for the build. And with that, let's move on to layer number four. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we're moving on to layer number four. For layer four to go ahead and get started with, we're gonna place down a loom on top of this one right here, followed by a green terracotta block to both sides, item frames come off those blocks and snowballs in those item frames like so. We then also wanna place down a dark oak button here to both sides of those green terracotta blocks. We're going to place down a row of three of green terracotta back, followed by a second row of three. And then we want to go ahead and take our stripped spruce wood and we're going to place down one, two, one, two to both sides. Coming off the first one, we're going to place down a spruce wood trap door. Uh, coming off both sides there and then a trip bar hook directly after. And we want to go ahead and take our green carpet and we're going to place down green carpet on top of these dark oak wood upstairs stairs. After that's done, uh, we're going to go ahead and also place down a green terracotta block. Uh, across this back space like that to kind of close that area off. And uh, we're going to place down a dark group with trapdoor coming off of it like so. When we get to this point, we're going to place down a end rod over here on this zombie head, and we want to go and then take a mossy cobbles on the wall and place it down on top of this zombie head over here on the left side. So just pay attention there, a little different there on both sides. When we get to this point, we're going to take our stripped spruce wood, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five across. And we want to go and then go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And same thing over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then across back here again, one, two, three. Now, once we get that done, we're going to place down each spruce wood trap door, come off these three middle blocks, and also trip our hooks to both sides, like so. On the sides here of these blocks, we're going to place down an item frame. In that item frame, we're going to place down an orange stained glass block. And we want to go and then place down each spruce wood sign over the side of the item, or over basically the side of the block like that, kind of covering up the item from a little bit. We're gonna go then place down a uh, spruce wood trapdoor to the side here, a spruce wood button, 
spruce wood trapdoor, two spruce wood buttons, spruce wood trapdoor, a spruce wood button, spruce wood trapdoor, and a spruce wood button, just like that on the sides there. We then uh, want to go ahead and place down a spruce wood button here, item frame here, sign, and we're going to also place down an orange stained glass block, just like this. So it's going to basically be the same thing here. We're just going to go ahead and run this along the side. So the same thing as the other side, just over here to this side, and our buttons here. And that right there is going to basically wrap it up. So that's going to do it there for layer number three of the build, or sorry, layer number four of the build. And with that, let's go ahead and move into layer number five. I guess going ahead and moving into our next layer, we moved into layer number five. For layer five, to go ahead and get started, we're going to place down a daylight detector here on the front, followed by a dark duke trapped over to both sides of it. Going back from the daylight detector, we're going to place down a row of dark duke slabs, so one, two, down the center here, and then two daylight detectors to both sides. We're going to then place down a row of three of light gray stained glass across, a second row of three, a lever to both sides of those blocks, just like that. And also a dark liquid sign directly after it on the second block. Once uh, that's done there, we're going to go ahead and place down a granite wall on top of this end rod here. And then over here to the other side, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall just like that. Now when we get to this point right here, uh, we can also place down a dark liquid trapdoor on this block as well. Um, that's something we can do from the previous layer. Um, but we also want to go ahead and make this banner right here. So for this banner, real simple design, we're going to go into our creative menu and we're going to need to grab ourselves a loom and also uh, our banner. So we're going to grab a loom, a black banner, and two things of green dye. And for this banner, real simple, we're going to go and take our black banner, put it into our loom, we're going to go and select the green dye line over here on the, actually we're going to split it in the center here. So we want to Split it exactly in, the, in half, have the green line on the left side, grab that banner, put it back in, and we're going to go and then select the bottom half here with green dye to kind of create that black right corner. And we're going to go and just place it right there, and that's pretty much it for that banner. After that, uh, we're going to then place down a stripped birch wood piece here to both sides, and then a row of dark oak wood sign or dark oak wood trapdoors, dark oak wood fence gates, sorry, across. Two smooth sandstone blocks back, birchwood block, two smooth sandstone blocks, strip birchwood log, two sandstone blocks, and strip birchwood log. And same thing over here as well. So just like that. And once you have that all done there, that is going to wrap up what we have here for uh, layer number five with that we're going to move into our final layers here which are basically just going to be layers six and seven we're going to basically put the top of the cab and the top of the uh, canvas canopy onto the truck so with that let's move into our final layers all right guys moving into our next layer we have layer number three so f fuck all right guys moving into our next layer we have layers f five and six six fruit yeah that I guess moving to our final layers, we have layers 6 and 7. For these layers, to go ahead and get started with, we're going to place down a row 3 of light gray stained glass blocks across here, and another row 3 directly behind it. I want to go ahead and make one quick change here. Um, this banner right here, so we're just going to grab it, and we're actually going to go ahead and move it up one. So, uh, my bet on that one, uh, just going to move it up one, and we're also going to place down dark trap trapdoors on those two light gray stained glass blocks from the previous layer. So, my apologies, let's go ahead and make that simple change. It's really not that big of a deal, and is easy fix. Anyways, on the top of the cab here, we're going to place down a row of three of daylight detectors here across, and then a row of three of dark oak trapdoors like that across the top there. We then want to place down an end rod, coming off both sides of this light gray stained glass, a green carpet on top, mossy cobblestone wall coming off the end rod like so, item frame, and a glass pane in the item frame like that. Same thing over here as well, just like that. Once uh, that's all finished there, we're going to place down an air granite wall up right here and a mossy cobblestone wall up from that granite wall. We're going to place that wither skeleton tool on top of the granite wall and then one out to the side here and we're going to then place down a dark grid slab on top of this mossy cobblestone wall. This point right here we're going to place down a strip of birch wood uh, piece on top of these ones all the way back 
And we're going to also fill in the spaces in between them with our smooth sand spin. Once we have that done, we're going to grab birch wood slabs and we're going to place down birch wood top slabs to come off these birch wood, um, strip birch wood logs here on the insides. Going all the way across. And on top here, we're going to place down a row of three of birch wood slabs. After that, we're going to place down a row of sandstone slabs filled in the spaces down the middle. And then the both sides here, we're going to go ahead and place down birch wood trap doors. Like so. And the last thing we need to do here is to go ahead and take some levers. And we're going to place down levers here on the stripped birch wood. And place down levers like this going all the way across and make sure that they are flicked toward the birch wood slabs. And with that all complete there, that is going to wrap up my design here for the M939 Series 5 ton 6x6 truck. Hope you guys do enjoy this design and are able to put it to good use. If you do use this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit. This can be anything from posting on social media to uh, basically just having it in your world. I do ask that you just, you know, very simply give me credit by putting a sign on the build or uh, linking my channel or just mentioning my name uh, on any social media post. So uh, please give credit if you do use it. It helps my channel grow and continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting these types of videos. And then, um, again, big special thanks to Patreon supporter Z Pro Warfare for making this tutorial possible. And, of course, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is down in the video description. Anyways, that's going to do it for this tutorial. Thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's been your 204, and I'll see you guys next time.